you guys are doing good today. So in today's video, I have a sunscreen haul with me. I have a lot of sunscreen to go through. Some of these are repurchases, some I actually am trying for the first time. So these are a mix of sunscreen that I just got recently. And I just thought of doing a haul video with you guys because I know you guys are asking me about sunscreens a lot these days. And since I have been trying a lot, so I thought it would be a good video to compare as well. This video is not sponsored by any brand. All of these, I got it with my own money. Uh, the links that you will be given down below are affiliate. Uh, so yeah, let's just move right on. So the first sunscreen that I got is uh, yesterday. I just got this yesterday. And today I was testing out all the sunscreen, just you know, looking at the consistency, how they are. Um, so this is the Happier Sun Days and this is a sunscreen stick. So as you can see, uh, I saw it on Amazon and I was like, oh wow, this is so cute. This is like really, really cute and I love the packaging of it, very aesthetic. Also, I do want to say that I have not tried the brand Happier that much on the channel. I think I've just tried one product from it. And I saw the sunscreen, but the sunscreen is very tiny. Let me just tell you that. Yeah, it's very, very tiny. The minimal sunscreen, I feel like, is much more bigger. Uh, so it says it's a dewy sun stick and it has SPF 50 PA triple plus. Uh, so first, when I was going in with the sunscreen, I had this idea in my head because it says dewy. So I thought it's going to be like very glowy, very dewy. Since I have dry skin, I'm going to love it. Uh, but it was opposite of dewy. I feel like it's not dewy at all. Yes, it does not give you any white cast at all. Like there is zero white cast in this. Even when you're initially applying this, there is no white cast at all. That's the first thing I liked about it. But the texture I feel like is more silicone based. Like it's, I don't know if this has silicone or not, but it's more so like the blurring sort of primer that we use mostly. It's that. So if you have oily skin, I think so you're going to actually like this sunstick. And I feel like it's going to really look good on top of makeup as well because it's not that glowy and it's not that dewy to be very honest. Um, I don't know why they are marketing a dewy sunscreen because it's literally the opposite of dewy. It's more like a matte sunscreen for oily skin. So if you're someone who have oily skin, I feel like you can try this one out. It's very cute. You can easily carry this in your purse and rather than carrying like a big tub of sunscreen, you can easily carry this. I feel like reapplication over makeup is also going to be easy. So I'll keep up on that as well. Maybe do like a shorts video. But overall, this is not a dewy sunscreen. Screen. I do really like it. I have to test it out more to give my full on review, but so far so good. So the next product that we have here is actually a repurchase. It's from uh, Foxtail and it's the Dewy Sunscreen. Now this is something that I have tried before and this is the product. I absolutely love this sunscreen so that's why I repurchased it. I still have a, quite a lot left in my older one but I also got a new one because I know I how much I love this. It's not for oily skin people at all. If you have extremely dry skin, check this one out because it's very hydrating. Uh, what I do with this sunscreen is whenever I apply the sunscreen, I do not go in with any moisturizer because it is so hydrating. It works as a moisturizer and as a sunscreen as well. And that is why I repurchased it. Sometimes it can be a little bit more dewy, especially during the hot, humid days. But if you are someone who works on an AC room, uh, you know, sometimes your skin gets very dehydrated, especially if you are working under AC. So that's when you can use this because it's very dewy and it just gives like boost of hydration to your skin. So I really love it. It makes my skin look very glossy and it's just like very hydrated, skin-like finish. Uh, it does not leave any white cast. It does not peel under makeup. Overall, it's such a great sunscreen. Uh, only it works for dry skin people. Normal skin can also use it during winter time. But during summertime, if you have very dry skin, you might want to check this one out. So the next product I got is a new purchase of mine and I was like, okay, I'm like excited for this because I have not tried this before. So this is the sun scoop. This is the hydrating fluid sunscreen. It's very hard to take it out. So yeah, it's the hydrating fluid sunscreen. Uh, so when I saw this, I was like, okay, this is going to be very lightweight, I think so. And yes, it is. It's very, very lightweight. It almost has that 
watery sort of consistency to it and it has SPF 60 in here. Uh, so while I was spraying this on my face, I did not like first of all how it sprayed on my face. The spray, the nozzle is not really fine and good. The only problem I have with the sunscreen is the nozzle spray. It just squirts out sunscreen which is not ideal, you know. Um, the best thing I like about this is that it's so so lightweight it is the most lightweight uh, sunscreen that i have and i feel like this is more better for body reapplication throughout the day because you just need to spray it and then you know within one second this blends into the skin so for my skin i don't know if i'm going to like this that much this has zinc oxide plus aloe vera extract and it's hydrating soothing anti-inflammatory all of that and yes it is uh, but the only thing again is the nozzle spray if the nozzle spray was good I would use it for my face as well but since it just squirts out sunscreen I would just take this to my body sunscreen because yeah I mean I really like the texture and everything but do not like the nozzle so overall this is a good sunscreen and uh, yeah I am excited to use this I don't know what else to say because I haven't been using this that much just I've been using it for the past three four days but yeah I have been using it all over my body and it just instantly absorbs into the skin so the next sunscreen that I have here okay, so the next sunscreen that I have here is again a repurchase I love this my whole family love this and if you ask me what I would do with so much of sunscreen my family also uses all this sunscreen by the way yeah they don't buy any skincare the skincare that they use is the skincare that i give to them so anyway this is the dot and key watermelon sunscreen and oh my god i'm telling you guys this is this is literally my favorite sunscreen and yes i have talked about how much i like all of this but if there has to be one staple sunscreen for this summer season it has to be the dot and key one uh, it is hydrating, yes, but for my dry skin, I do need to go in with a moisturizer underneath this uh, sunscreen. If you have oily skin, you don't need to even go in with a moisturizer. The best thing about the sunscreen is that it's very cooling on the skin, you know. It's very like calming, very cooling on the skin. Something that I really like to apply most days and especially when it's like so hot and super humid i don't want to apply a sunscreen that's very glowy i don't want to apply sunscreen that's super matte as well so this is the perfect sunscreen that just works under any weather condition and that's why i'm saying this that this is a staple and this is my third bottle of the dot and key sunscreen i even love the aqualogica one but i don't there's something about this sunscreen that is very cooling on the skin like Thanda, thanda, cool, cool, that kind of feeling I get after applying this. So that's why I like it just a little bit more than Aqualogica. Uh, but yeah, a really good sunscreen that is a staple. So moving on to the next sunscreen we have here is from Put Simply. So this is a brand that I have been trying out lately. And this is such an underrated brand. Oh my god, I love their products. I have tried their cleanser, their moisturizer, their sunscreen. This is this is uh, you know what's in my stash right now and i have to talk about this sunscreen so this is a product that i have been trying more so i would say like for a week now and this um, sometimes i will just use it for reapplication. sometimes i just use it in the morning sometimes you know i reapply sunscreen throughout the day so i use a lot of different sunscreens from here okay so the best thing about this is that it's oxybenzone free so if you are someone you don't like the ingredient oxybenzone then this is oxybenzone free so another unique aspect about this sunscreen is that this sunscreen sunscreen is more like a Korean based sunscreen you know you if you have ever used Korean sunscreen you would know that their consistency and everything is very different it's like very watery and just seeps into the skin and it's very hydrating moisturizing but you don't even feel like you're wearing a sunscreen it's that it's very calming on the skin as well and if you are someone who has sensitive skin and looking for that one sunscreen that is just going to you know act really nicely with your skin and just you know you can and use it without irritation and irritation near your eyes and you can use this easily under makeup as well then i feel like this is the one after shaving my face my skin gets so sensitive so a lot of the times i do not use any of the sunscreen because after shaving the next morning i would wake up with bumps if i don't use really you know good ingredients ingredients that's very calming so i feel like 
after using this sunscreen my skin just like calms down a lot and whenever i feel like okay yes my skin is breaking out my skin is a little bit sensitive after shaving i'm getting a little bit of texture bumps and that's when i use this sunscreen uh, you can use this daily and under your makeup as well it's not too dewy it's not too glowy something uh, you know oily skin people can also use so the next sunscreen that I have here is also a repurchase. So this is the Aqualogica one. Now this is a bigger size of the Aqualogica sunscreen. This I took with me to Thailand trip. Now this is a sunscreen that is for everything, that I use for everything basically, for my face, for my body. And yeah, this is the one sunscreen that has to be in my collection. Now I got the full, like uh, the new package. This is the new one and this is the older one. Now this is a very good sunscreen to apply for your body. And if I am traveling or if I'm going somewhere outside, you know, I don't want to carry two sunscreen, one for my body, one for my face. This is a sunscreen that I need to have because this works really good for your face and for your body as well. It's very hydrating. So I don't need to put in another layer of lotion. That's exactly what this does. This is very hydrating. So this is uh, why I took this with me to my trip to Thailand because I didn't take any body lotion, extra body lotion because this was all I applied uh, throughout the day. And uh, the sunscreen one is also, as I said, good for your body. But this is more better for reapplication and not like a lotion and hydrating sort of thing, you know. Uh, for hydration and moisturization, I feel like the Aqualogica does it. And for reapplication, the sunscreen, I use the sunscreen. So these are all the sunscreens that I have been trying out lately and yeah, these are like, like short mini reviews. Obviously, you know, you don't need to go and buy all of this. In any case, you know, you feel like, okay, this is a sunscreen that might suit for your skin. You can go ahead and purchase that. I'll leave all the links down in the description box. Um, so yeah, that was it for today's video. Let me know what is your favorite sunscreen and what you have tried lately. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye-bye.